As I was trekking through the arctic tundra and the stolen skeleton horse which ended up freezing to death, I came across a cabin in the snow. The dude hadn't claimed his territory yet so that was probably why he didn't have any good loot to steal. It's always fun when you find an unclaimed chest. I was thinking about my thievery and whether I was right to do it but then a mod abused their privileges to come steal my emerald and that made me feel better about myself. Anyway, Karnistan was looking quite bare, so I decided to build some more. What I needed first was a courthouse. Step 1, trials to signify law and order. Step 2, false trials to signify power and control. Step 3, throw out the court system to signify dictatorship and force. I don't know what any of that is meant to mean, but I I've got to build in my courthouse. While I'm building, please allow me to direct your attention to the shiny red or black or whatever color it is now subscribe button. And we're right on the verge of 500 subscribers. Look at that. So close. So make sure to smash that subscribe button as I'm sure something will be happening at 500. After catching Lady of the Chance spying on me from underneath the ground, I finally finished my courthouse. As you can see, there are no doors. I kind of like the whole no doors kind of thing when going into these big buildings. As you can see demonstrated with the Karnistan HQ. So we go inside here and you led straight into the main courtroom. Here are the seats that the people can go and sit on who want to watch the trial. Here are the seats for the defenders and the prosecutors. Here is the place where the witness or whoever or whatever the person questioning is supposed to stand and give the answers. This here is the judge platform that I'm standing on here. I use my gavel. This is where the jury sit. There are only six seats so I guess it would be a small jury. Go through these doors here to up these stairs to this hallway where we have a bunch of rooms and here we have one room where someone can sit and talk to their lawyers. In this room we have table and chairs where the jury make their decisions about everything about the trial. Here in this room just have a little lock up bit in here in case you know you need to put someone away before the trial. And in this room here we just have another place where someone can just sit and talk to the lawyers or whatever. You can go down this way. This is how you actually get into the uh, jury booth place. You just come through these doors. So to get up here you actually have to go through these doors and then go all the way loop around down to there. And that is the courthouse building. While working on Karnistan a bit more, the second episode came out and more people began to join the server and apparently began setting up factions of their own. I mean look at this dude's place, he's been here for less than a week and this place is already super impressive. One day as I went to hop onto the server, I noticed that only an admin was online and AFK too, meaning that he was only there to keep the server running. At first I thought that meant no consequences for what I would do but then I remembered that everything is protected so there wouldn't be any way to steal stuff. Stuff. Instead I went to go pick some flowers for the flower beds outside the courthouse. As I was in the middle of that an admin once again teleported to me to give me four shulker boxes saying that he was clearing out some stuff and he didn't need these anymore. Because I was the only person online he just gave them to me instead of burning them. When I got home I opened them to reveal that three of them were full to the brim of totems of undying. I was immortal. Death was no longer an issue for me. I threw them into a chest to keep them safe for a while. You know, maybe I always need to have some sort of parental supervision on me because I travelled to spawn to gather some dark oak because I couldn't be bothered replacing the ones near Karnistan. But after about three stacks, I got distracted and went off adventuring. I stumbled across a house where I noticed some dude had his head sitting on his front lawn. A bit weird, but I yoinked it and threw it in my end chest, which now that I think about it, is probably even more weird. I kept walking and came across a claimed house. However, his garden wasn't claimed, but all I wanted from there was a poisonous potato. As I was leaving, I spotted a house built into the side of a cliff. I got closer to investigate, realizing that I was probably entering through the window. I had no idea whose house this was, but I decided to indefinitely borrow all of their iron and gold. I almost gave myself away when I grabbed a blaze rod and an achievement came up in the chat. Luckily, no one turned up. After that whole ordeal, I knew it wasn't going to be safe to stay out there much longer, so I skedaddled back home to the protection of the Karnstan borders. Yesterday Lady of the Chance said she was working on a castle. It didn't look too impressive at the time but then I log on today and she's already built so much of it. How do people do this? I was sitting on my front porch listening to the conversations going on in the chat. Someone mentioned adding lore to the server. I gave him a tiny hint of what I was brewing behind the scenes. Oh if only they knew they were really part of my symphony.